Democratic Republic to seek asylum in Britain, using Dover as their port of entry. The issue locally is that people in Dover don't want the National Front here. You can see the way they're being marched through. Jack Straw says he's a strong anti-racist. He should have stopped this march taking place today. Unable to break through to the ranks of the National Front, those intent on stopping the march vented their anger on the police. There were scuffles and a number of arrests. But the march was completed. The police say they were there simply to ensure public safety and facilitate a lawful protest. Our job is, is to protect public order and apply the law to those who break it. We did. Um, I'm satisfied because there was no damage, there were no injuries, and from our point of view, that's a success. The National Front went away feeling they'd made their point, but their opponents said they would continue their efforts to stop such marches. Peter Gould, BBC News, Dover. Gun owners have until midnight to hand in their low-caliber weapons. Anyone failing to meet the deadline could face a 10-year prison sentence. One of the first acts of the Labour government was to extend the ban on handguns to cover weapons like this of .22 calibre and below. Owners have until midnight tonight to surrender their guns. Today, a government minister, Henry MacLeish, was at a police headquarters in Scotland to see some of the weapons which have been handed in. As a result of the Dunblane tragedy, Britain now has some of the toughest gun laws in the world. With two weeks before the anniversary of the tragic Dunblane incident, I think we've gone some way to allay public fears that the handgun menace has been removed. But of course, there are illegally held weapons. We want to encourage the public to report to the police on those as well. Gun owners are angry at the speed of compensation payments. Some say they're still waiting to be reimbursed for larger calibre weapons handed in last year. Innocent sportsmen and women are being punished. They've handed their guns in in good faith. They haven't yet received the compensation they should. And there's a great deal of frustration and anger in the shooting community because they feel they're not being fairly treated. The government says it's working to get compensation payments out for all handguns. There were 10,000 small caliber weapons in circulation at the start of this handover period. Most have been surrendered ahead of tonight's deadline. June Kelly, BBC News. Cricket in England.